my name is McKenna, and this is my younger sister, Michaela. We live in the small town of Alexandria, Minnesota. There's not much to do here, but we just wanted to take some time out of our day and make your appreciation video because we know you don't get thanked enough. For as long as I can remember, Kenna and I have watched your show. When we were little, we always danced when you danced in the aisles, and that's always been a goal in our lives to kind of be able to share that together. It's not only, your show has not only taught us to be fun loving, but to help others. Kenna and I are involved in a lot of organizations around our town and Minnesota in general that is devoted to giving back. We actually are in WEAC, National mm -hmm. Honor Society, Key Club, and I just organized a product that the community board just passed, which is a school and community garage sale, where I can help donate clothes and food and gift cards to families in need all over our town, our state, and even our country, which is really cool. I'm so excited. If you happen to be in Alexandria on March 28th, you should totally come. <laughs> Anything from our programs in our community to trying to help others improve improve their lives to sending books to kids around the world that need them. We do a lot of work after watching you help others. One thing that we like to share um, common interests in is your show and One Direction. I'm, I can't really tell you how long that I've wanted to see them live. Um, I kind of actually got to go to a concert two summers, two summers, two ago. summers ago while I was on a mission trip so I couldn't attend. But um, she said it was an amazing experience. She sent me tons of pictures, and I was just, I've always really wanted to share that memory with her and being able to meet them. But and as they become bigger and bigger, it's kind of hard to. It's a little to, tricky. It's really yeah. hard to get tickets now, too. But they're coming to Minnesota to TCF Bank, and I was fortunate enough to get this little Rugrat tickets to the show. Mm -hmm. Even though we're like in the back row on the nosebleeds, it's still going to be such a blessing to be able to be there and to experience it. And I can't wait to see the reaction that this girl has on her face. I'm so excited. <laughs> She's um, crying like yesterday. She's like, we're going to One Direction 162 days. And I'm like, you counted? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> my um, younger cousin Abby is coming with us and two of McKenna's friends. And Abby has just been, um, we've had some luck meeting some of our idols, we, idols in a way. Um, just randomly, mm -hmm. airports and stuff like that. So we're very blessed in that aspect of our lives. But she thinks that that luck is going to somehow get her to meet Harry and all the rest of the boys. But I keep telling her that it's not it's not going to happen because I don't want her to get her hopes up. And it's really hard to tell a young girl mm -hmm. that she's not going to be able to meet one of the boys that has helped her throughout her life. Yeah, so. and why we really like One Direction is that they do so much like community work with Rays of Sunshine, which is over in England, which I don't know if you've heard of, you might have, but it's kind of like Make-A-Wish, where they like help all these kids and they make their dreams come true, and it's such like an amazing thing to watch, like even though it's on a YouTube video. Um, they also like do charity events, like other things, like appearances, and they did Teenage Kicks one way or another in Africa, where they went to an orphanage and a hospital and saw how life actually is there. And then they did like a matching program where however many dollars were donated, they matched it and so forth, which is really awesome because we as a sister team really love making a difference. And our main goal is to make people smile and happy and just being able to do small things to make the world a better place is like the greatest gift that God could ever give us here on earth. And to be able to meet others that have the same desires in their lives would be incredible. Like meeting you, that's always been a goal mm -hmm. of my mom, my dad, me, and McKenna. Um, we've always tried to plan out trying to go down for one of your Christmas shows mm -hmm. because my mom just loves the fact that you give everybody in the crowd something to not only use for themselves, but to use for others and make their, make their lives that aren't there important and just a lot better overall. Mm -hmm. So that's always been a struggle to try to find a way to get from cold Minnesota to California. Sunny Los Angeles. So, I mean. Actually, I was writing my senior portfolio for college comp, and um, one of my entries was a bucket list. And the Ellen Show <laughs> is the number one thing on my number bucket one. list. It's not graduating college or becoming a mom or getting married. It's going to Ellen. Um, I mean, one thing that we always do on your, when we watch your show every day after school is we always dance when you're dancing and I just, I think it would be so much fun and it would just complete both of our lives if we got to do that with you. 
and even it'd be really cool to do a service project with you as well as One yeah. Direction because that'd be like our idols who are devoted to giving back all in one place. Like, how cool would that be? So with all of our love, we want to thank you for doing what you do and just keep doing what you do because it's amazing and everybody loves you and the impact you're making on others' lives. Okay. Much love. See ya.